Hey, it's Austin. I just wanted to uh, go through Joel's turbo so we can have a look. And it, the damage was pretty catastrophic. As you can see, it ripped the bottom of the bearing seat out of it. There's not really much you can see on this side, but. So here's the bearing seat. Here's the turbine shaft. You can tell that's pretty bent too, like in two different places. Well, from looking at this, it's kind of hard to see what happened first. You can tell the shaft is blue. And also, one thing I noticed is that on this edge, I don't know if you can see that, it looked like it was rounded, which we often see that if somebody has an oiling issue, like if they're not getting enough pressure to it or something, and uh, you will never, or they will never, they never say that they notice it blowing oil, which makes me think that maybe in that case there was not enough oil getting to it for it to even smoke or something like that. But for Joel's, he should have noticed something. Like from the top, it looks like maybe something went through it from like, you know, maybe the engine blew up or something. Another thing I noticed was how there's oil all over the top here and all the blown turbos I've seen, there's never oil at the top unless maybe it dripped down through shipping or something, I don't know. But usually there's just oil, you know, coming out the bottom here because this turbo sits up like that. And another thing I noticed was how this had, the compressor wheel had rubbed all the way around. So it's like it was already rubbing before it actually got completely destroyed. And another thing that proves that is how this was worn out on the side to side so much. Because if the shaft broke, then it would just be something really immediate. But if you had shaft play over time then this would wear out a lot also with the shaft breaking the uh, thrust bearing still looked in okay shape besides the fact that it cracked in two places down here from just the sudden jar of the turbine shaft And the compressor wheel, well, you can see that it rubbed evenly all the way around. So it's almost like it had shaft play side to side wise and not like the shaft had just got kinked in sideways and then rubbed one side of the wheel like I've seen. So it makes me think that maybe he should just have checked to see the shaft play of the turbo because he, he would call or message Ian saying, oh, it spools up late or whatever. But the reality of that is we can't really tell you like what the spool is supposed to be like in everybody's case. Because it's different with different motors. Are you talking about a third gear pool, first gear pool? We don't really know. I mean, we can kind of estimate, but we can't really give you an exact answer because we don't know if you have boost leaks we're just not there and you are but it's really important to you know just know the basics know something i mean you should have some knowledge you should know better than we do because we're not there and you are but um yeah just use your common sense because <laughs> i mean this stuff does happen and we don't want to be blamed for it and we don't want like if it's our fault of course we want to replace it and we don't want to screw anybody over but you should also just be careful and know exactly you know if there's something going wrong you should know because it should be blowing oil I mean there's just like no way 
You know, because it's, it's either blowing oil and there's something wrong with it, or usually it's not blowing oil and it's perfectly fine. But you you just need to keep up with your turbo if it has shaft play or not. You know, if there's signs like the spool time, you know, apparently that was a sign. And what I've seen it from spool time wise is that, uh, yeah, you can have really laggy spool if you um, your oil pressure is really low or not adequate for the turbo because there's just so much friction in there. But there's other things that can cause that. Like, you know, when I was first looking at this, maybe one of the bearings was locked up when we put it in there. And it's really hard to tell when you're missing a bearing seat. <laughs> so, uh, but for the front one, that one was locked up, but I could tell that was locked up because this shaft got kinked in sideways and just slammed it so hard that it literally has the imprint of the oil guide up there. So that's another thing. And I guess another thing is that with that, if the bearing is locked up, you probably won't have good oiling to the turbo. So it might result in stuff like a blue shaft or whatever but the shaft was actually blue on the other side on the back side of it yeah, as you can see this thing's pretty destroyed so what I'm asking Joel to do is you need to put another turbo on your car if you have not done that already just to confirm to see in case your motor has blown up or if you're just having turbo problems and that will help us reach a conclusion as to what actually happened here because it's kind of hard to tell when it's this far destroyed and yeah just let us know and that way we can just get back with you and keep up with the communication because this one is pretty toast so Hopefully it wasn't our fault, but if it is, we'll fix it.